Hello, uh, this is a quadratic equation program that my grandson Charlie did on Excel. And it's a um, very simple program for quadratic equations. And let me show you how it works. And I'd uh, like to make it available to anyone who's interested. You can email me. I'll give you information about that. But a quadratic equation is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And in this particular Excel spreadsheet program, you could add any value you want for a, b, and c in these three boxes. And the program will graph the equation. It will tell you what the roots of the equation are. They may be real or imaginary. And it will show you uh, the quadratic formula here. x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now you can see if this term under the uh, square root sign is negative, you will have imaginary roots. In this particular case, where I have a b of 2, a of 1, and c of 1, b squared is equal to 4, and 4ac is equal to 4, so the, this term is 0. So the roots are simply minus b over 2a. In this particular case, it's uh, they both both roots are minus 1. If you factored this equation, it would be x plus 1 times x plus 1. All right, so let's let's begin by looking at uh, this equation, uh, maybe with uh, a 0 for a and a 0 for b and a constant 1 for c. And you can see it's simply a straight line <coughs> going through the uh, straight horizontal line. The equation is really y equals 1. We made y equal 2. Uh, the program has a little difficulty um, with this graph because it's really fitting a quadratic, but uh, the equation is linear. All right, now let's enter a value for b there, <coughs> b, but no value for a, so y equals bx plus c. So I'm going to enter a value of 2 for b. And you can see I get a straight line now, y equals 2x plus 2. The intercept is 2, and the slope is 2, all right? All right, now let's, I'm going to bring these values back to zero and put a value for a of one. Okay, now I get a quadratic, I get a, a parabolic uh, curve, y equals x squared. It crosses the uh, x-axis at zero. It's uh, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Uh, if I added a constant c of uh, 8, it brings the curve up. Okay, it no longer crosses the axis. It actually has imaginary roots. Let me make it 9. Which you can see the roots are imaginary. Plus and minus 3i. All right. Plus or minus 3 times the square root of minus 1. All right. If I made this minus 9, the roots would be real, plus or minus 3. So you could play all these games with this, all these different things. But let me go back. Uh, let me keep, uh, keep things as they are. But let me add a linear component to the equation now. <clears throat> so I'm going to add um, 5x to the equation. And that... There's a straight line that goes through the origin. I'm just kind of adding that to, to, to this. And it's going to bring this curve up on this side and down on this side. Let's see what happens when I enter. You can see the curve becomes less... It's no, no longer symmetric with respect to the y-axis. It, it shifts down on the left and up on the right. And now let me, instead of putting 5x, I'm going to put minus 5x. And you can see it shifts the other way. So uh, this is a very nice program. I'm not going to go spend much more time on it. I just want to show that there's a bunch of questions that you can uh, have in here and the answers to the questions. And if any of you are interested in uh, 
getting this um, program and using it, either if you're a teacher in your classes or using it as a student, you can email me and the uh, email address will be made available at cmarzacco at AOL.com, but it'll be available in the, the notes accompanying the, uh, the information accompanying the uh, video. So thank you for your attention, and I hope you can use this.